I characterize teaching as being the oldest profession based on the kind of critters that we are. You know, human beings have so few instincts. There's so little that comes to us pre-programmed. And all of the rest of it, everything that we need to survive, has to be taught to us. So that means from the very first, those adults who are responsible for us, our siblings, are teaching us how to be a human being and how to be safe and how to get fed and all of the basic things that we need to know. So that is always a reciprocal arrangement. Not only are parents expected to teach their children, parents are constantly learning from their children. They're learning to be parents. The siblings are learning to be caring, moral participants in the life of another human being. And so teaching has never been a set, it, it can't be a set aside activity. It's absolutely required for the continuation of the species. But I was thinking about small scale societies and how there are always some members who are very good at teaching because they're very good storytellers or they've lived through many winters and they know where to find deep roots when it's hungry out. And so that transmission of special knowledge has led to some folks being acknowledged as better teachers perhaps or more fulsome teachers than others. Um, for many of the world's people there is a special transition from being an adolescent, a child, um, and taking on adult responsibility. So yes, it's the oldest profession. It is, um, it is the profession that we absolutely rely on to exist. Is it a privilege? Well, <laughs> yeah, it is a privilege because in the very complex world in which we live, there's a, a great, as you know, distribution of the tasks that need to be done. And I'm well aware that most people's lives don't allow them the luxury of contemplation, reflection, lifelong learning as their profession because they are carrying the water, they are finding the firewood, they are winnowing the grain. They are dealing with the immediacy of taking care of the needs of the society and do not have the very great privilege of spending one's life energy in pursuit of knowledge, both for oneself and for um, the students that wander through your purview.